Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot and I am here to do a reading for Gemini. Gemini, this is your weekly reading for March the 1st to the 6th, 2021. The message that I got for you, Gemini, was um, stop working so hard and to be calm while you're waiting. So stop working so hard and whatever you're waiting on, I don't know, it could be something as simple as you're, you could be in line somewhere. In traffic, but um, I heard be calm while you're waiting. Um, yeah, so y'all oracle was crowning you with Gemini for this week is shallow grave, and this is you miss someone, and I got that for Aquarius, um, as well. That um, oracle came out for Aquarius, so let me show y'all the spread the best I can. So that's the spread, the layout of the spread. Right there. So, um, yeah, y'all first card out was the Nine of Swords. <coughs> Nine Swords, um, Gemini, this could be you. This could be a guilty conscience. This could be you stressed out about something. Can't think, can't sleep, can't eat. That's mental turmoil. What well, clarified the Knight of Swords, the Nine of Swords was the Knight of Cups. So this is water energy. When I asked for more information about the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Cups came out. So this is someone walking away from something that um, does not serve them. But it's walking away emotionally. Emotionally. What clarified the Eight of Cups was the Will of Fortune. This is the major arcana for um, the Will of Fortune. I think this is Sagittarius and Pisces. <clears throat> the Will of Fortune. I think that's Sagittarius and Pisces. So... What just came to me was, if you are a male, don't have to be a male, but male came to me first. If you are a male Gemini watching this, you could have offered somebody a cup, like a female, and she could have rejected you, and you feel um, <sighs> like let down. You feel tortured. Um... You feel a little stupid a little bit. Like embarrassed. I don't want to say stupid, but embarrassed. Or you're stressing that, you know, you want, you probably want to offer somebody a cup, but you're probably not sure the, of the outcome. Let me see if the, that Knight of Cups is you. Is this Knight of Cups Gemini? Yeah, that's you. Yeah, that's what I got. Um, I got male energy strong, but it don't have to be. You could be a female as well. But this is somebody that's like, either you already tried to offer the cup and it didn't work out, or you want to, and you stressing about the, the outcome. So the Knight of Cups is like you asking somebody out on a date. Or something. That's the Knight of Cups. Um, the Knight of Cups is very. If this is not like rom romance, the Knight of Cups is just someone who's very generous and and like kind and sweethearted and you know they're sweet. Um, I don't think this Eight of Cups is you. Is this Eight of Cups Gemini? Yeah. Let me see. I think... I think you're being urged, or you want to, or you got a strong to desire to offer somebody a cup. Whether you a male or female Gemini. Because it's like... Say like Gemini, if you broke up with somebody and you left, you left them alone. This Eight of Cups and the Will of Fortune is like, 
say like you broke up with somebody last year and you left them alone and you thought you was over this person. The Eight of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune is like your desires and your feelings for this person is starting to come back. Like the will is turning. So whatever and whoever you walked away from emotionally in the past, this will is here. So it's like it's bringing back up that that desire. It's like you you want this person back. That's what I'm getting from that. So you broke up with someone or something. It don't have to be a person. It could be a job you got tired of and you just left. It could be a friend or a family member. But the will is turning, and I think you have an urge and a, and, a, and a desire to return. And I think you, you don't, I think you don't want to offer this cup. Because like I said, I'm getting a little bit of embarrassment. It's like you don't want to offer them the cup, but your desire... It's like your desire to return it has um is stronger than your ego. That's what I want to say. Yeah, the your desire to return is is um is getting stronger than your ego. Yeah. Clarify the nine of swords. Clarify the nine of swords. Oh my goodness. Do I want to take all this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Nope, I'm not. Not right now. I'm recording. Clarify the nine of swords. Go ahead. If you mess up, don't. I, I can't fix it right now. So, bull came out. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. And mountain, major challenge to overcome. Okay, so what I think is going on, like I said, you could be a male Gemini watching this. Don't have to be, but I got male energy first. I got male. So, if this is a love situation and you broke up and left your person in the past, you walked away emotionally from this person. Your person probably have a, a person. So it's like you know it's competition around. So you in your head, Gemini, you nine swords. You nine swords, you stressing, you can't sleep at night because you know it's competition. Do not back down from opposition, show strength and fortitude and major challenges to overcome. Your person who you walked away from emotionally probably is in a new relationship. And you have a major challenge to overcome because the person that you walked away from in the past got somebody. <clears throat> um, is this nine swords? Is Gemini stressing about a third party situation in love? Is this love? Is this romance? Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, let me see. Oops. Let me see. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Mm. It quill. The Eight of Cups get back to the basics. Mm. Mm-hmm. Gemini, whether you a male or female, I'm getting you left this person for the wrong reasons that's why you you got an urge to return because you left them for the wrong reasons because you got back to the basics whatever this is let me see what was the basics what did gemini get back to mm. okay okay mm-hmm so, I don't know if you left your person, Gemini, for a career move or for a third party. Um, But it's a family wishes come true. So, you left your person for somebody else. 
Possibly. Because it say family wishes come true. So you could have had another family somewhere else. Family sorrow. And danger, especially in money matters. So... What I'm getting, Gemini, what happened was you left your person. You walked away from them emotionally. Or they could have done this to you, Gemini. But the way the cards is looking on the spread, it's like you did this. So you left this person because you your family wishes was coming true. Or you thought your family wishes was going to come true. But instead, what you got was danger, especially in money matters. So who whatever you like say like you just up and left this person. It didn't it didn't have to be for a third party, a person. It don't have to be for a person. It could have been you made a head over heart decision cuz you had to relocate like your job. So you picked your career over your person. That could have been the case. It don't have to be another lover. It could have been a career move. But all I know, the cards is telling me you walked away from this person emotionally. So your heart was, wasn't was in it. You left that person emotionally. Because you had some family wishes coming true. But what happened was you have danger, especially in money matters now. And because of it, you're experiencing family sorrow. You or somebody else. Yeah, <clears throat> but the cards told me, Gemini, and I'm going to say it, and I ain't going to say it no more. I keep saying it. It's, the cards is telling me you was the one who walked away from somebody, and you nine swords for it. It's like you regret it, and you feel a little bit embarrassed because your person probably has a, a person now. Whether you walked away from your person because of career or another person, another lover. So, I'm going to go ahead up to the top. Because your oracle is you miss someone. Gemini, this is you. And this your person. So, I don't know. Your person, your person, you are probably dead to your person. Because you, you just, you left them. You walked away from them emotionally. And this is you. And that's your person. So, you're probably dead to them. What well, clarifies shallow grave? Yeah, Gemini, what just came to me? You or somebody else? The reason why you left this person, it was a shallow, like a vain reason, because it's a shallow grave. So I'm getting a little bit of you reap what you sow. Um, You make your bad heart, and now you got to lie in it. That's what I'm getting a little bit. Because it's a shallow grave. So you left this person for shallow reasons. Like vanity a little bit. But what clarified shallow grave was Princess of Wands. So this is the page of wands. And this is like a text message. This could be um, the um, beginning stages of a passionate new idea. Or this could be somebody being optimistic. Page of Wands. What well, clarified the princess of wands was the sun. Um, Gemini, you could have been dealing with a Leo, the sun. This is a major arcana for Leo. You could have been married to this person. Or you probably want to marry this person. Because the page of swords is like um, an idea. The beginning stages of a passionate new idea. So you probably want to marry this person. Or something could have been exposed. The sun could mean exposure as well. What I just got, Gemini, you probably want to expose your idea to this person. Like you probably you have to you have a um you want to make a proposal to this person. And I don't mean like proposed for marriage. It's like you calling this person or you texting them in like, you're saying to them, how about we get back together? How about you meet me out for drinks? I have to tell you something. I want to talk to you. I want to tell you something. Like, 
It's like you're exposing your ideas, like what's going on in your head. When I asked for more information about Shallow Grave, the Queen of Cups came out. So, um, you came out as the Eight of Cups at the bottom. So, maybe this is you, Gemini. Um, this is letting me know you you love this person. You have feelings for this person. You You are emotionally mature. You could be intuitive as well. And you possibly, whether you male or female... You want to tell this person that you love them. If you are a male, you're just in your feminine energy and you're willing to communicate. Because the Queen of Cups communicates her feelings. So if you are a male Leo and this is your energy, this resonates with you, you're willing and ready to communicate and tell this person that you possibly did wrong in the past or you left that you love them. What clarified the Queen of Cups was this Ace of Pentacles. So, this is um, Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, of Virgo. The Ace of Pentacles is something, it's an offer, a stable, practical offer. And it's usually something that you would not say no to unless it was a good reason. This can be a proposal, like a marriage proposal. This could be a new house, a new car. A raise at work, a bonus, something like that. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. August. Okay, so the month of August came out for the Ace of Pentacles. Clarify the Sun. Ooh. Okay, happiness. Happiness came out for the sun. Clarify this queen of cups. Turkey, someone is behaving stupidly for the queen of cups. Clarify the princess of wands. Ear, good news. Okay. Um... So, like I said, and I didn't want to say it like that, but I had to because it came to me. Like I said, Gemini, whether you're male or female, I'm getting embarrassment, but I don't want to just come out my mouth and just, and just be saying stuff. But what I got from this Nine of Swords was that you feel stupid, Gemini. You feel, you feel, you feel dumb. And I have to say it. So, for this card to come out, Turkey, someone is behaving stupidly. Is this Queen of Cups, Gemini? Let me see what's going on. Yep, that's you, Gemini. So, this is what this is telling me. This is what this is telling me. You are intuitive. You are intuitive that. In the past, when you walked away from this person, your intuition is telling you that you was being stupid. Like, for you to walk away from this person, your intuition is telling you this. That in the past, you was behaving stupidly. That's what this Queen of Cups is, whether you a male or female. This is intuition. Your intuition is telling you this. Um, yeah, um, cause this clarified the queen of cups. So it's like you, the queen of cups. And like I said, you walked away from this person. Like I said, it could have been for another lover or a career move. And this is the offer right here in the past. Or, Gemini, you, this could happen in March, like, during this first week. All this drama could happen in March. But I'm kind of getting it happen in the past. And in, in March, this first week in March, it's like you're realizing it. So, this is the offer right here. And it could have happened in August. It could have happened this past August. And it's like, in your head right here, 
this queen of cups right here is like you having an aha aha moment like oh shoot that's what this this is like your intuition is kicking in and you remember the offer and you know it happened in august when somebody made you an offer so it's like you you realize that it was you who was behaving stupidly you or somebody else Um, hmm, let me see. This page of, the page of wands, is this, um, Gemini? I think it is. But is it this Gemini? The page of wands? No. Is this Gemini's person? Yeah, Okay. So, Gemini, the good thing about it, regardless whether you feel stupid or not, whether you was behaving stupidly in the past, regardless of that, your person, when you reach out to this person, because it's let me know you miss them. When you reach out to this person, they're going to be happy. The page, of, the page of wands is like optimistic, optimism. This is somebody who is being positive. Instead of negative. So regardless of how you treated this person in the past. Regardless of why you left them in the past. When you reach out to this person. They are going to be the page of wands. They are going to be positive. Whether they tell you. Or whether they express themselves to you or not. This is their reaction. They page of wands. They are excited. Because whatever you say to them. Gem Gemini. Good news. It's, good, it's music to their ears. They, you know, they probably wanted to hear from you. Um, this sun card could have been you, um, exposing, like expressing yourself. I don't know if you probably propose to this person, they might say, yeah, that's like you calling them and, you know, or getting together with them and, you know, just asking them, you want to get married and they optimistic, they paid the wands. And that's their happiness. It's letting me know that's their happiness. Probably both of y'all happiness. Yeah, the sun energy. But let me see what the sun is. Is the sun card exposure? Nope. Is the sun card marriage? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Gemini, like I said, <laughs> I got a male. I got male energy. If you reach out to this person, whether it's over the phone, text messages, email, or in person, and if you do ask them to marry you, they happy. They they it's letting me know good news. So yeah. And um yeah, y'all might get married. The sun is here. This person is very optimistic about y'all marriage. If you tell this person you have changed, you you see the way you see the error in your ways, they're optimistic about what you're telling them. If you telling them, okay, I realized it was me, I realized I was the one who was being shallow, vain, clout chasing, a hoe. Whatever you telling this person, they believe you because they page of wands. They're excited about this marriage right here. It's good news to them. And this both of y'all happiness. So that's what that's saying. And like I said, I think you in this Queen of Cups energy, Gemini, and I think you're talking. You having a conversation with this person. Because the Queen of Cups is intuitive. And the Queen of Cups talk about her feelings and her emotions. And the Queen of Cups like for um those around her to feel loved so this is what's going on you having a conversation with this person if you are a male you are in your feminine energy at the right time you're, you're in your feminine energy and you're talking you having a conversation with this person you queen the cups yeah you talking to this person If you are not, if you say like, for example, Gemini, you just talking to this person. 
whether you male or female, you apologizing to your person, you letting them know you, you realize it was you, the error in your ways, all that. Even if you don't propose to this person, your person is still thinking about marriage. Your person is thinking about marriage. Whether they tell it tell you or not. Your person, when they hear your confessions and, you know, this is on their mind. Whether you bring it up or not, this is what's on their mind. They thinking about marriage. So, if you come back to them telling them the truth, you apologizing... In, a, in their mind, they like, okay, Gemini really changing. Okay, so, you know, maybe he is, or maybe she is marriage material. Maybe he is marriage, you know. I can marry him if he, you know. That's what this person is thinking in their mind. They think about marriage if. Or y'all was probably already married. Y'all could have been already married, Gemini, and you left your person. That's what that can be telling me, too. Yeah, so let me clarify. Clarify is shallow grave. Clarify is shallow grave. Ooh. So, yeah. Stepping into, stepping into a new experience, leg, and skull. Hidden secrets can harm you. Hidden secrets can harm you. So, Gemini, I don't know if this is telling me you're stepping stepping into a new experience. And you had to be, I mean, forthright to your person. Tell them everything. Don't keep nothing hidden. Because if you don't tell this person the whole story, it can possibly harm your relationship immediately or later on down the line in time. So, it's like you're stepping into a new relationship. This person forgive you. They take you back. But you can't keep secrets. If you do not tell this person the whole truth and nothing but the truth, it's not going to work. It, it might work for a while. But if your person take you back and later on down the line, in time they find out something, that's, that's not going to be good. You probably lose this person forever. Yeah, so, um, what I'm getting, let me see, because what could have happened was, Gemini, you probably went and poured your heart out to your person, and they're the one who keep a secret, and the secret was that they, they got somebody else, that was could have, that was could have happened. The, the Knight of Cups and, and the Knight of Swords is just... Um, Gemini after being in this Queen of Cups energy. Is this after the fact? No. Okay. Okay. So, no. It's you. These cards telling you, Gemini, to tell the whole story. Don't keep secrets. That's what it's saying. Tell this person how you feel. And when you tell them how you feel, you tell them everything. I don't know. You probably never told this person why you left. But it's saying... Don't keep secrets because it can harm you. Not the person, not your lover, not your ex. It's to saying if you keep these secrets from this person, it's going to backfire and it's going to um harm you. So you got to tell this person everything that happened. So Gemini, that's what I have for you. Um, This is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. Gemini, please keep in mind that this is a public in a general reading this is not a private nor a personal reading so this reading this energy may or may not resonate with you also because energy and time is fluid this can manifest later on down the line in time it doesn't necessarily have to manifest during the time frame i specified which is march 1st to the 6th so gemini please keep that in mind again this is blood queen tarot thank you gemini